Hello, Capricorn. Happy New Year. Happy New Decade. Guys, January is seriously starting off with a bang, but not the kind of bang you would like. <laughs> not the kind of bang you think. Although, you know, for some of you, hey, it could. It could be that kind of bang too. But, all right, I need to get serious here because the moment has arrived. The moment we've all been not waiting for, you know, trying to avoid perhaps. But I don't think you're avoiding it, Capricorn. Because if there's anyone that could face adversity and life realistically and with maturity and depth, it's you. It's definitely you. You have a depth of character and a very reasonable approach to things. It's in your nature. And so when the universe says, hey, we're taking away something. We're going to give you loss. We're going to give you destruction. We're going to give you suffering, pain. We're going to give you adversity. Because you're ruled by Saturn, Capricorn, it's not like you're celebrating it, but you can deal with it. You've got the chops in your psyche to deal with it. And yet, this type of situation with Saturn and Pluto coming into exact alignment in your sign on the 12th, it could bring even you to your knees. But that will not last. You're not going to stay on your knees. I want to show you something before I get more into your forecast. You know, there's a lot of transformation that has to happen for all of us, but for you especially. This is your sign that this is happening in. No other sign is more effective than you. And so I want to give you a bunch of tools, spiritual tools to help you. The first is this incredible kit that was created by the ladies who own the Amityville Apothecary, a metaphysical store on Long Island. It's called Transform, and it is a crystal collection for letting go and moving on in your life after you faced loss and pain. And so there are selected crystals, like garnet, moonstone, smoky quartz, so many beautiful crystals. And they all have very specific functions and properties, and they're explained in this kit how to use them. They have a blog on how to use this, these crystals. I love it. There's a link for it. You want to check this out and be serious about this, okay? I am very serious about this for you because Capricorn connects to rocks. So crystal healing is actually something that you will do very well with right now, very well with. And in general, something else that we should all be doing at least once a year, I prefer once a season, is smudging your house, your environment, burning sage. Guys, if you haven't done it, do it. I'm telling you. And if you don't know how to do it, this is a great kit that they also sell. It has all instructions on how to properly burn sage and do the ceremony. It's got the white sage, palo santo, an abalone shell, turkey feather. I love this. I'm telling you, I know it sounds kind of kooky to people who've never done it before, but if you give this a chance and cleanse the energy in your house and even yourself, you feel it. You definitely feel it. So these are some tools to help you with your deep transformation. They're available at the Amityville Apothecary website. You will get 15% off. Use the coupon code Astro Maria. All this information is in the link below. Okay, so check that out in the description box below, right below your video. Now, let's get to your forecast in depth because you need some attention this month. You really need some guidance. What is bringing you to your knees? Okay, something, something, it's bringing you to your knees. Is it a relationship? Is it a health crisis? Is it an awareness that you, the way that you've been living your life, the security that you've been holding on to, the structures that you've built, that you've worked so hard to build for your life, they're finally crumbling. They've come crashing down. And you have to accept this so that you can get to, to turn the page. You know, when we're going through crisis and we're going through any kind of huge transformation, we, it's like we have blinders on. We can't see what's around the corner. We're trying to walk to the corner. We're trying to get to the corner. So there's, it's impossible to see what's around the corner when you're trying so hard just to freaking make it down the block and you're on your knees doing this. 
right, Capricorn? So it's not easy for you to see what's next. But I promise you that there is something next. There always is, because when there is a death or an ending, when that happens, the universe clears energy for us, clears the path for something new in our life. And the thing that's happening in your life that's new is actually what will bring you real stability, real structure, real personal security, and more important for you, personal empowerment. That's happening the moment of this conjunction, because any conjunction between two planets has an energy of a new moon. So this Saturn-Pluto cycle on January 12th, it's bringing all of this amazing new potential through death and destruction and loss, okay? But you guys have resilience now like no other sign out, out there. You just do because people who natally have Saturn and Pluto in their charts, they have this ability to pick themselves up from their bootstraps no matter what. Life keeps knocking you down with Saturn and Pluto. Every time you build something up, it'll crash it down. It, it'll come tumbling down like the tower. And you learn through nonstop hardship to keep going. When you're going through hell, you keep going. That's Saturn-Pluto energy. And ultimately, you build a level of resiliency that not everybody else has in this world. You know, there are people who truly do crumble under pressure and they can't function. You're not one of those people, not with Saturn and Pluto in your sign. You've got the pressure and it sucks and things are breaking down. But your resilience, Capricorn, I, I mean, it's admirable. It's incredible. It is like, whoa, people are going to look at you and say, I wish I had that. I wish I had that because they're going to see in 2020, everyone is going to witness what you do after the destruction. And what you do with that is, it's like you're going to build something so solid and so amazing. It's just wow. It really is. Okay, Capricorn. So I want you to take a minute to give yourself some credit because you're earning every drop of the empowerment that's coming your way in 2020. Remember, you do have Jupiter in your sign. And that energy is going to take over. It's going to take over because Jupiter and Pluto will be conjunct in 2020, not Saturn and Pluto. Jupiter and Pluto in conjunction is holy shit balls power, major power. And you're going to have that because of this crap that you're going through right now. Because of it. So, what else is going on? All right. Well, you're going to have a new moon in your second house of earned income on the 24th. That new moon is bringing major changes in your financial world through innovative ways. Uranus rules technology. It rules things like astrology, the uh, metaphysical sciences, anything unusual, anything weird, anything ahead of its time and inventive. And the reason why that's important for you now with making money is because it's the ruler of your second house. Uranus rules your second house with Aquarius there. There's a new moon in Aquarius on the 24th in your second house. New money from those areas. Adding to that, Uranus stations direct on January 10th. And that means the Uranian energy of change and liberation and shift is on in January. So you're going to maximize that new moon because of it. Uranus goes direct, though, in your fifth house. So I have to say there could be a sudden development with one of your kids that is not necessarily negative, but surprises you. If you're single, that is sudden love opportunity. If you're married, it's sudden affair opportunity. Okay, so that could also be why you are starting the year off with a bang in, you know, the traditional sense. <laughs> it's good. It's really exciting. But if you're in a relationship, there is an eclipse on the 10th in your partnership sector. So, hmm, yes, for some of you, a relationship is ending. And it could be a business partnership. It could be a personal relationship. But there's an awareness here for you about security and security needs and structures and foundations in your partnership that has to be addressed. And Capricorn, I, I hate to say it, but it might go back to your childhood stuff. I think it does actually for you. 
cancer is connected to your your home and family life and mother. And so Capricorn, you tend to marry people that trigger your mommy or daddy issues. But on January 3rd, Mars, the planet of anger, action, and assertive drive, and the ruler of your fourth house of home and family is going into your hidden 12th house and remains there till February 2nd. So the setup here right before the eclipse is that the ruler of your fourth, Mars, is going into your 12th. And then you're having this eclipse in your partnership sector. Your partnership sector is ruled by the moon. Connects back to fourth house. There's something about hidden anxieties and fears connected to unresolved family issues that are coming up at this eclipse that you have to work through with your partner. Maybe you're going to recognize that you've been projecting too many of those issues onto your partner. Or maybe there's some kind of pressure happening at home and the two of you have to deal with it together. Okay, there's a lot of different ways this can go. But with Mars in your 12th house, I will say also that, you know, anger can be turned inward and not expressed in a healthy way. Anger is not expressed healthy when you lash out and hurt other people or, or when you turn it inward and hurt yourself. So for you, it's turning it inward and hurting yourself, Capricorn. You need to be aware of that. Healthy release of anger. You need to get in touch with, with that. How to do that in a healthy way for yourself, okay? And also, you might be using this Martian energy to work strategically behind the scenes on an endeavor, a business endeavor that could be really amazing once Mars goes into Capricorn on February 16th. You, you guys have some serious power energy happening, serious power energy. So I don't want you to think that you're sitting in death and destruction and crap for all of 2020. You're not. It's actually over in January. Celebrate that. Embrace that. I, I can't say enough how much of an empowering year 2020 will be for you once you get past this ending that's happening now. All right, guys? So I love you. If I could help you in an in-depth consultation, click the link on the description box below to connect with me. I'll get you scheduled. You have got this, Capricorn. Happy New Year. I love you.